Hello, hello, lights and yells. This is Lord Kicker, and welcome back to another episode of PC Building Simulator. Okay, so let's try to do this one with custom water cooling for the CPU. This is probably gonna be sort of hard, I suppose. Um. Okay, let's remove that back fan. Seriously, there ain't a whole lot of space for this. Okay, first order of business. Uh, let's put the CPU block down. And then I think the reservoir, let's see. Okay, so I can put that over there. Can I? Put in a 240. Oh yeah, I can. Can I also put in one of these? No. Alright, so only a 240. I mean, I guess that ain't bad. All things considered. That's probably quite decent. Oh yeah, you're all connected already. Okay, good. Um, I guess that means all we have left to do is piping. Ooh, some copper pipes. That might actually looks kind of cool. And let's go for the nickel. Okay, that actually looks good. And then from here to there. Now that ain't a bad bend. And then from here. From here to there. Okay, that looks a bit awkward. Okay, something like that. Uh, coolant. How about something... Like opaque orange. Okay, so we got costume water cooling in, uh, as far as it can go, I suppose. It doesn't feel like I can do much more. Still, that's kind of impressive for this small of a case. I kind of want this case. It would be such a good land PC. But I don't go to lands that often. Not anymore. And I don't think anyone uh, uh, really goes to land due to the circumstances. Well, I mean, you could have some private ones, I suppose. Okay, so how far did you want this to go to 4620? I mean, really, is that even possible? I mean, it's kind of hot already. 
Well, I'm going to check. Okay, it's only a 55-56. Okay, maybe. Maybe we got a winner. But, of course, we need to do some uh, stress tests. Making sure everything is good. Still, I'm kind of impressed to do custom water cooling in such a small enclosure. And still, I do wish that when, um, when you go to buy a case in this game, that it actually tells you if it's... Uh, Custom water cooled compatible. Seeing as you can't really like modify these cases to fit custom water cooling, which you could do in real life. Wait a minute, you didn't say anything about specific cables, did you? Uh, and Forrester? Uh, I'm gonna check that so I don't uh, screw this up. Uh, nope, you're just a tool alpha cool fanboy. Alright, so then we go. Then we good. Which I hope these parts are too. Alright, so let's start with OCCT. Let's see if we're good. Well, we are throttling. <sighs> But I think it's barely, so I will guess I'll uh, restart and uh, thing around a little bit. Okay, because if I do this, then I get 4620. And I need to up the RAM. Okay, so let's try this. Because then we're hitting about the minimum that this thing wants from us. And it seems to be a little cooler. Not much though. But indeed, it is not throttling anymore. Uh, let's see, how much... 850 watts. Alright, I don't think it should be any problem if we want to do, say, overclock the graphics card a little bit. Uh, let's see, what do we have? We have a 2080 Super, cool. Okay, let's try and bring you up to 200. Not a problem. Okay, still looking good. 240. Now we're starting to get up in a hot territory.
Okay, we could bring it up to 255. Nice. Okay, let's set all of you to orange. Uh, we got the system information up, cool. Let's run some 3 my scores. I really hope that this will do. Let's see, I think I went with the same case. For all of you, right? Yeah. The MSI MPG Vampiric O10. Okay, so 2049. I mean, I guess I could at least get started on this. And I kind of want to look into the case. Because it's new. And, uh... Wow. I'm kind of impressed over the details you can actually see. USB 3, USB 2. I can't press the reset button. <laughs> I can only press the power button. Ooh, is this a fan controller? Or is it for the RGB? Probably for the RGB. Well, uh, I guess it would be fan hub, not controller. But seems like a kind of nice case. Pretty stylish. Not like that over the top screaming gamer stuff. Not that I mind that. Um, let's see, was it the mine that needed the Threadripper? No, CPU score went down. Is it throttling now? I run this score once more. It says no. Okay, let's play around a little more with these knobs. Okay, I can also do that. That will give me 4620. Let's see if that actually does anything differently. Okay, so it hit 5556. Right, it's the same. So I need to step that memory down. Okay, let's see how you do under a load now. Because maybe there it's different. Yeah, it's throttling. <laughs> mm. 
well now, this is a challenge. Okay, so what if I bring a voltage down? Because less power can make sure that it produces less heat. Uh, if it's that accurate, that is to say. So crashed, and that's probably due to uh, insufficient power. So I guess I can't have it any lower than 1.5. But if I were to say set these as default. not do any overclocking at all on uh, the graphics card it will still throttle hmm wait a minute I did remove a case fan from here. Can that actually be what saves it? Well, look at that. It is no longer throttling and it's not getting up to 95. And there we go, bringing the GPU back up. All the fans are set. Alright, let's have this run again, and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, that didn't help. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna set this default, apply, and uh, redone, redo this, because I know that uh, sometimes the GPU uh, gives some extra heat, so... Let's just try this and uh, I'll be right back again. Yes, there we go. That actually worked. Okay, do not overclock the graphics card. <laughs> At least when um, the CPU is so pushed to the limit, it's not even funny. Alright. <sighs> We good. Install alpha cool parts, only use knee parts. I love the custom water cooling and my PC or CPU loves it and even used awesome alpha cool parts. Alright, sweet. Okay, so with that I am going to end up this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see y'all in the next one. Until then. Bye-bye!